Hey guys, it's CodeZillet, and this is a quick update on a project I'm currently working on called CZ Zones. This is a data pack for Minecraft Java edition, and if you look down in the description below of this video, you'll find a link to a GitHub repository where you can download it today and begin interacting with it. Now as a quick disclaimer, this is sort of like in a beta phase, so everything you see in this video is subject to change, as well as all of the code inside of that GitHub repository. So as I go along and develop it, I may add or remove things from time to time, and so once it's in a stable version, you won't have to worry about all of that happening as much, but at this time I am rapidly developing it and so changes are being made. So just a heads up, if you plan on using this in sort of some sort of production environment, like on your actual server for good, you will want to wait until the final versions are released. But at this time, if you just want to play around with it and sort of get an idea of how it works and provide feedback on it, if you have some feature requests, things like that, bugs to report, then feel free to download that from the GitHub repository and use it in your Minecraft world today. So with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and see an example of this data pack, how it works, and how you can begin interacting with it now. So say you're inside of a Minecraft mansion or some sort of build that you've created, and you don't want players to be able to break any blocks. Well, you can do that by, you know, putting them in adventure mode, but you have to be able to run the command as an admin, and you have to worry about all the things that are going on, uh, you know, inside of your Minecraft world, where the players are, whether you want to turn them back to survival mode after they leave that room, and it just gets really messy and hard to manage. And so with this data pack, you can do something like that very easily. So let's see that in action now by going into this room and creating a zone where players can no longer break blocks. If I walk into this room and run a reload command while I'm in creative mode, I will see a menu for this data pack. So let's go ahead and switch to creative mode and then run reload. And now we can look in the chat to see our menu. You can see that there are different headings that sort of give you an idea of what each button does uh, in the, you know, these different headings. So like this is for all the management, this is for all the different queries you can run. And then this is like sort of a global settings area where you can disable or enable things on a large scale. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and just look at a simple example of creating a zone, and we'll do that by using this Add New Zone button. So if I click this button, I will get a zone at my current location, and you can see that the zone here is marked by this title. And if I wanna see it in even more detail, if I reopen that menu by using this quick link, and then go back down to this global settings section, I can also enable the show zone particles functionality. So if I do that, you can see that all the players in creative mode now can see these barrier particles. And what these are showing you is sort of the boundary of the zone. So if I leave the zone, you can see it says that there is a zone with a limit size of 10 blocks. And if I re-enter that zone, I'll also get a similar notification. So let's go ahead and see if this is working by switching to survival mode and trying to break some blocks. So if I go over here and try and break some things, you can see that you know I'm not able to break anything currently because I'm actually in adventure mode. Even though I set myself as survival, as soon as I was detected in the zone, I was set into adventure mode. So now you know the question is, well, am I stuck in adventure mode if I want to go break blocks out inside the Minecraft world, outside of this you know protected room? Am I able to do that? And the answer is obviously yes. So if I leave and go into this room, I'm able to break blocks again, I'm able to place blocks, I can break torches, I can do all the things you would expect to be able to do in Minecraft survival mode. However, as soon as I go back into that zone, I'm no longer able to do those things anymore. You can see that I'm dynamically being handled as a player in terms of my game mode. And you can imagine how powerful this can be in the future when I add all kinds of other functionality like Maybe there's zones where when you enter, all PVP is disabled or all PVP is enabled. You can think like old school RuneScape, you're in the, the wildy, you know, you're in danger, you know that you're gonna be PK'd, all that good stuff. Well, you can imagine something like that in Minecraft now where you have certain areas that are designated maybe as a PVP zone sp uh, specifically, like the wilderness uh, in RuneScape, and now you know you're in danger because you get a notification telling you that that zone is a PVP zone. Or maybe it's something like you want to disable, you know, whether players can use uh, fire or they can use TNT or lava, anything like that. You can see how these zones could be different pinpoints on your Minecraft map where you can go into a menu and then be able to have different options to sort of configure what's allowed or disallowed in that zone. Now that is what's going to be here in the future with some sort of like inspect where if you click this, it'll show you all the different zones specific uh, configurations, but right now that's not in this beta. That's something coming down the line later. So now that we've seen the zone, well, what if we want to hide it from view so players don't know that it's here?
you know, kind of ugly just to have the CZ Zone title inside of your Minecraft world as you're walking around and seeing it through walls. Well, if we go over here, stand next to the zone, and then open up our menu, we can use Hide Nearby Zone. And what that'll do is it'll basically make that title go away. And now we don't know the zone is here visually, but functionality-wise, it's all still working. So here I can break things. And if I go back in here, I'm no longer able to break anything. So that's it for this video, just a quick update on the data pack, a release version for you guys there in the GitHub repository. And as always, let me know down in the comments below all the different functionalities you would like to see in this data pack. And if you haven't yet joined our Discord server, go ahead and click the join link down below as well, where we can talk about this data pack and all the other future updates to it. Thanks guys, this is Codezilla, and I'll see you guys all in the next video.